No matter how hard you try to understand them, no matter how patient, kind, loving, and forgiving you may try to be, there are some very specific things that narcissists do that are never, ever going to make sense to you. And that is exactly what we're diving into today. Seven things narcissists do that you'll never be able to wrap your brain around. And more importantly, what you need to do to save your sanity. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Let's dive right in and unpack the seven things narcissists do that will never make sense to you. Number one, their ability to act as if nothing has happened. Everything's perfectly normal, just fine in fact. They have no idea what your issue is. And they'll do this not least after they've let you down or hurt you deeply. And because narcissists don't experience guilt, shame, or remorse the way the rest of us do, they expect you to just move on as quickly and easily as they do. And when you don't, won't, or can't, you'll be labeled bitter, resentful, and unforgiving, according to them. When in reality, maybe you've just had enough. You're starting to see things for what they really are. You're waking up to the reality and the truth of the matter. Either way, it's important that you realize that how quickly and easily the narcissist is able to get past whatever it is that they've done to you is not a reflection of the severity or seriousness of what they've done, but rather it's a reflection of their colossal lack of empathy, compassion, and conscience. Don't allow yourself to be gaslit by their ability to minimize their behavior and the negative impact it has on you. Their fundamental inability to care about the very real and detrimental and destructive effect that their attitudes and behavior are having on you is all about them, not you. Remember, it's not that they don't know or understand, it's that they don't care. Which leads me to my next point. Number two, narcissists will hurt you and then blame you for the very real hurt they have caused. Now, this one is particularly true for those of us who were cast as the scapegoat in a toxic and dysfunctional family system where there has been an unspoken and silent agreement that says it's okay, perfectly acceptable in fact, to target, blame, shame, use, abuse, and mercilessly criticize one individual and then blame them, A, for the abuse they endure, and B, for the effects of having been on the receiving end of all manner of abuse for as long as they have. Another classic example would be the person who cheats and then blames their cheating on their spouse. Of course, it's all their fault. If they were more of this or less of that, then the narcissist wouldn't have to cheat. Or the liar who blames the person they're lying to for their lying. You get so upset when I tell you the truth, so that's why I have to lie to you. What? Have you considered that the issue is that your truth is legitimately upsetting? And you lie because you are in fact a liar who lives life in a way that would upset any rational human being, unfortunate enough to be in close proximity to you. But that doesn't even occur to the narcissist. Why? Well, because they're entitled. Narcissists have a shocking sense of entitlement, which is precisely why they can hurt you and then blame you for the hurt they cause. In their mind, they are entitled to behave however they choose. And if you have a feeling about it, no matter how legitimate, that has to be your fault. Under no circumstances can they accept accountability or responsibility, which is why you are met with pure indignation, if not absolute outrage, the moment you dare call them out for anything. The thing is, not only do narcissists rarely, if ever, apologize, they rarely, if ever, accept any responsibility for the very real relationship crimes they've committed. And this, my friend, will never make any sense to you, especially if you're a full-blown empath. The fact that they are indifferent to your pain and suffering, not least the pain and suffering they themselves have caused, is bad enough. 
But as I said earlier, they'll add insult to injury by accusing you of being bitter, resentful, and unforgiving. Which leads me to my next point, number three. Narcissists will justify their hurtful actions with the most lame and sometimes even bizarre attempts to rationalize why they do the things they do or don't do the things they do. And trying to understand where they're coming from with their pitiful justifications can be maddening to say the least, especially in any kind of long-term friendship or relationship where this sort of thing is happening on repeat over the years. Here's my advice, don't go there. Do not spend one iota of your time trying to get inside their head and understand where they're coming from. It's not gonna help. In fact, when they start with their nonsense and BS justification and rationalization, call it out for what it is and then stop engaging with them altogether if possible. Just see it for what it is and see them for who they are and refuse to be gaslit and manipulated into believing that your reaction is the issue, not the actual issue at hand. Now, comment below and let me know whether or not you've ever had experiences like this. And if so, how'd you handle it? Also, if you're struggling with narcissistic abuse in any area of your life, you're likely an excellent candidate for my eight-week transformational coaching program, The Freedom Class. If that's of interest to you, there's a link in the description below this video where you can apply to see if you qualify for a free one-on-one -on -one consultation with either myself or a member of my team. There's also a free gift section in the description below this video, so be sure to avail yourself of that as well. Another thing narcissists do that will never make sense to you is number four. They're perpetual and deliberate misunderstanding you. Have you ever noticed that you constantly feel misunderstood, misjudged, and then of course, misrepresented when you're in close proximity to a destructive narcissist? Well, my friend, that's no accident. In fact, if you have to wonder just how much of this misunderstanding and misjudging you are happening deliberately and on purpose, I assure you, probably all of it. So trust yourself and that feeling in the pit of your stomach. Remember, narcissistic people are looking at you and at life in general through a very distorted lens. And the bottom line is they can't see you, the real you, for who you really are because they're busy projecting everything they cannot see, own, or accept about themselves onto you. Which is why so much of what you live with the narcissist will never ever make sense to you. And it's why relating to them is such a painful and frustrating experience. Next on the list of things narcissists do that will never make sense to you is their withholding behavior. And again, this is particularly true if you're a full-blown empath. You expect people to have your heart. And although the narcissist may be good at pretending, in particular to the outside world, that they are good, decent, kind, and loving people, the truth of your experience over time tells you otherwise. Good, decent, kind, and loving people who genuinely care about you and have your best interests at heart do not withhold approval, genuine praise, validation, acceptance, or any kind of acknowledgement of the good you have going on in your life. But narcissists do. In case you haven't noticed yet, narcissists are tricky. And a big part of what makes them so tricky is the Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde swing and aspect to their personality. It's also what makes being in any kind of relationship with them not only uncomfortable, but frustrating and painful. And their withholding behavior is one of the ways this manifests. Whether this is a romantic partner, your spouse, a parent, a sibling, a family member, or a narcissistic friend, they do this as well. Number six on the list of things narcissists do that will never make sense to you is how quickly and easily they will use your disclosures as ammunition against you. In particular, when their mask is slipping and the spotlight is shining on their not so stellar way of showing up in the relationship. 
Using things you've shared with them in confidence as a means of manipulating, dominating, controlling, hurting, or even vilifying you is often all the power they have to control you and the narrative. And as we know, narcissists are all about power and control. So they'll be willing to say whatever it takes, including, again, anything you've shared with them in confidence, even the things you've shared from a place of vulnerability as a means of shifting blame and responsibility away from themselves and onto you. And last but not least on the list of things narcissists do that will never ever make sense to you is number seven. They align with those who have hurt you. Here's the thing. Narcissists want you isolated, alone, and convinced that you're the problem, the issue. No matter how badly they and others have behaved towards you. And one way narcissists work to ensure that you're isolated and alone, one way they work to gaslight you into submission, is to align themselves with others they know full well have hurt you terribly. Friends, that alone should be all the information you need when trying to make sense of what you've been living at the hands of a destructive narcissist. And clearly, it goes without saying that these are not nice people, no matter how much they may pretend otherwise. Furthermore, by now you have to know that people with a destructive narcissist personality pattern do not change. That's right, they don't change. So, at the end of the day, if we want anything to change and improve for ourselves, the only sane question to ask is, what the heck am I doing still in the room with this person? Life is supposed to make sense. People you open your heart to should be able to show up well, consistently, reliably, and predictably. And the fact that they can show up nice sometimes and then do nice things some of the time doesn't erase all of the emotional, psychological, and spiritual abuse that you're enduring much of the time. So, what's the solution? Well, in my opinion and experience, the first step is to surrender to the reality and the truth of the situation, and then make whatever decisions you need to make in favor of taking good care of yourself. And then you do what you need to do. Whether that be putting some distance between yourself and the empathy-impaired emotional manipulator, or cut and cauterize and go full-blown no contact. Either way, you have to do what you need to do for you, because I assure you, the narcissist isn't going to do anything for you, in your best interest, for your well-being, not on their radar. And here's the thing. If you're having difficulty doing what you know you need to do, then you may need some specialized, qualified support. You may need to commit to a formal healing and recovery journey for yourself. And there are many, many ways that you can do that. Now, if you're interested in learning about my signature program, The Freedom Class, there's a link in the description below this video where you can apply to see if you qualify for a free one-on-one -on -one consultation with either myself or a member of my team. We're here for you and we're happy to help. Whatever you choose to do, it's time to start taking care of you. It's time now. Now with that, I'm gonna call it a wrap, but before I go, how can Tammy M Coaching help you? Well, four ways. Number one, subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell to make sure you get my new video every Friday. Number two, watch my free web class by clicking on the link in the description below. You'll learn about my personal journey and professional experience through decades of research specific to healing and recovery from codependency and narcissistic abuse. You'll also learn about some powerful strategies that you can begin to use use today. Number three, if you're not sure where to start, but you want to come and learn from my team and I, and you'd like to be supported by a stellar community of like-minded people who are focused on solutions that actually work, you can learn more about my eight-week transformational coaching program, The Freedom Class, by going to TammyMCoaching.com and clicking on Programs and Reviews for all the details. 
And number four, if you want some help right now because you have a burning issue, you need something solved, you wanna break free from painful relationship patterns permanently and actually make lasting progress in your healing and recovery, go to TamiMCoaching.com and click on apply now to learn how you can become my client.